Hey guys, it's Mark here, hanging with the Hyatts. Um, we're working on the Polaris again. I had a uh, axle break on me the other day. Um, I think I went a little too big on the tires. I mean, you never can go big enough, but they are rubbing a little bit. And I was in a bad spot, and it grabbed hold and snapped the axle. But the axles uh, got about 5,500 miles on them. They're OEM axles. I was kind of worried about that anyway with the bigger tires. But anyway, uh, we got new Rhinos axles that we're going to be putting in. And also got some, these are 31 inch tires, 10, 31 by 10 by 15s. So, uh, I went ahead and bought some, uh, 30 by 10 by 15s, um, Tusk. These are the Maxxis, um, carnivores. They were pulled offs. I got a good deal is the main reason why I bought them. But they were pulled offs off of Kawasaki 1000. Um, I found some, uh, Tusk terabytes. Or megabytes, I can't remember, something like that, from uh, Rocky Mountain ATV. I bought them, they were on sale, pretty good price. I got a whole set for right at 600 bucks. They look pretty good tires, pretty good, same, about the same prep, uh, tread pattern as these. But I don't know if I'm gonna put them on yet, but we'll see. Hey, YouTubers, it's Mark. Hanging with the Hyatts. I just wanted to let y'all know I did the rear axles too. Uh, they were a whole lot easier than the front, but I don't really know why. I think it was mainly them shocks. I was able to leave these shocks attached to the low ray arms on the back. And uh, they come right out pretty easy. Um... As far as the axles go, they're a whole lot heavier than the uh, the OEM axles, and uh, they they uh, they claim that they'll go a whole lot higher on angles. But anyway, I wish I would have done this when I put all these A arms, high clearance A arms, and all that stuff on there. I thought about it, but. I'm kind of a stickler on it. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. So I had one break. Now I've fixed it. I ain't rode it yet, but um, it wasn't that bad. Right now, just from the the quality of the shop or the quality of the A arms, I recommend them over the uh, OEM A arms. Super ATV Rhinos. I didn't go with the Rhino 2s because, like I said, they were 130 or $60 more. But, anyway, we'll see you on the trails. Thanks for watching.